back in open session. Again, thanks everyone for comments and work we did in the closed session. And uh, we'll go back now and address the uh, personnel item in the consent agenda. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll ask Dr. Lassane to make any comments. Okay. Like. You've all had the opportunity to <coughs> review um, the March personnel report and the relevant changes. Are there any additional questions? Questions or comments? I'll entertain a motion that we uh, approve the uh, personnel items as listed. Make a motion we approve the personnel items as listed. Second. A motion and a second. Any further discussion? I have um, a comment. I will be voting against um, the personnel record uh, due to two of the positions which are newly created positions. Um, uh, interim positions. One was uh, employees started on January 19th, 2016. The other one began on January 20th, 2016, and it's just now coming to the board. Uh, this is local money um, uh, being used for central office type employees, so I am opposed to that. Other comments, questions? So we have a motion and second to approve the personnel uh, report as given to us. Uh, unless for a vote, uh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. no. So we have uh, two, five, two no, in favor. So the motion carries. I've got two really quick items that the staff has reminded me about. Uh, Melissa White uh, has been contacted by uh, her folks down in Raleigh in the finance. There's going to be a meeting on March the 22nd from 1 o'clock to 3.30 there at DPI in Raleigh to talk about charter school funding. And... Uh, DPI has requested that each district send uh, the superintendent, the finance officer, a board member, and the board attorney. Uh, so if you're available on March the 22nd from 1 o'clock to 3.30, Melissa and I will be going to Raleigh that day. Thank you. Yes. And uh, we do suspect that there's going to be a lot of heated debate uh, in the General Assembly about charter school funding and how charter schools get funded. So just let me know if you're available that day and would like to tag along. Uh, the other item is last Monday night you got you heard a presentation from Dove House. Uh, would you guys like to go ahead and approve that or do you want to sit on that for a while or Dove House is just wanting a little feedback on whether or not you would allow that curriculum to come into the school. Well, my question on that was, uh, I might have already stated it, that's something that you go to, uh, if I'm not, again, mistaken, that's a first grade thing, but you're, you're going to a first grade teacher with everything else that they have to do and adding 30 minutes at the first of the year and 30 minutes at the end of the year. I know it doesn't sound like much, but that's, that's something else to the first grade curriculum that, that, that that's the time thing is my question. Uh, one of the pieces that Dove House was offering with that is they would actually provide the trainer person and provide the instructor to, to share that with. So it would not be uh, an additional requirement for the first grade teachers. It would just be 30 minutes worth of time twice a year. You mean across the board? Or? Yes, they they would They're be paying they like they are paying thousand. that through a grant that they are so that that employee would be theirs and they would deliver that instruction to all of the first graders across the district. And this would be starting next year, school year, right? Ye yes, they're still in the process of developing the curriculum. It would be for next school year. Well, I'm we're kind of in on the front end of this because uh -huh. it's. <laughs> It could go to another county, uh -huh. and they they really want it to come because of the partnership. 
I know you do. Anybody? Yeah, I'm not against the program. I'm just questioning the time yeah. that if it comes into a already jammed schedule, now if it comes in some way or another that can be put in place without taking away from their instructional time. Uh, Absolutely, and we can work, you know, principals have total flexibility as to when that's plugged in, if it's during, you know, an elective time or during some core, you know, so that it's, no, it's not taken away from core instructional time. Well, I move that we, the board, approve the Dove House Advocacy Group um, to do this for our first graders. Dove House is a, personally, they are a great group. Well, that's that's great no, no question about that. Yeah. Well, I don't agree with that, but I'm just wondering why we this was not covered in the uh, regular meeting. meeting. I mean, I don't think it was something that had to be necessarily approved. It was just a question of did you want to did you want to officially vote on it or did you just want to because it wasn't cl clarification when it was presented Monday night if you were good in moving forward to it. So we just needed to get clarification from the board and if you were okay with us moving forward, we just needed to let them know. So and if you if you want to vote on it, that's fine. If you don't and it's consensus then well, no, that's I'd fine. Have a vote in consensus, but are we voting to do it or to move forward with it? motion was to approve. approve it. Do we have all the details we need to have? I, you've, you've seen the curriculum and the overview of that. so. And we can bring you any revisions to the curriculum. Um, I'm on the board. So I, I mean, mean that, was all, that was all that information that we had last time. Yes. Presentation booklets, every, all the outlines, everything. I don't think the program is in question. Uh, so, again. And, have and, and if you want to do that, come back yeah, something. if you want to do that yeah. in April, we can bring it back to the April meeting for you to officially approve. We just needed some direction to uh, say. How about, how about if we say, well, you've got a consensus to move forward, but we need to put it on our regular agenda and talk about it at the cow meeting to make it a perfectly clear? At the opening. At the, at the opening. Or if you approve to do it, might I even make, that might be a partnership. I mean, I think we ought to do it for the press too, and again, not try to look like we come out half to yeah. do something. Right. And it, it, it was basically just kind of getting, wanting to get some direction from you on do you want to officially vote on it to bring it forward as a vote, or you want to just okay with consensus. So we can bring it forward in April for a vote, but we just needed to give them some direction because I didn't feel that, I didn't feel good and clear. I thought everybody was okay with it Monday, they but they were asking us, you know, is your board okay with us moving I'll forward? Withdraw. So we just wanted to get that clarification. I'll withdraw my uh, motion. In my second. Because I want more stuff to do at the cap. <laughs> yeah. Those, uh, yeah, we want to go on record. The cow meeting is not long enough, and we need to extend it. Yes. Absolutely. You might want to have two meals instead of one meal. One at five, one at 11 or something like that. <laughs> You'd like the motion to adjourn? I'll second. make a motion we adjourn. Second, Mr. Chairman. I was trying to figure out if you was trying to figure out. I know. Is it me? Yeah. All right.